In this video, we are going to talk about newsletters and how Canva can help you create yours. So if you're ready, we're starting right now. What is up everyone? My name is Ronnie. Welcome back to our channel. This is the place for you to learn how to become a better designer with Canva. Today we are going to talk about newsletters and how Canva can help you create your newsletters faster and in a more beautiful way. All right. So before we get started into the how to do it, I would like to take a little bit of time to talk about why you should be sending newsletters. So I have here four reasons why you should really start a newsletter. Maybe you already have one. Maybe you're already using another software to send your newsletters like MailChimp. But if you're not yet sending email to your audience, I strongly suggest that you start doing so. So let's jump into the four reasons. The first reason why you should have a newsletter is that it helps you remain connected to your audience, right? It's this regular update that they receive in their inbox about you, about your business and what is going on. So you basically stay present and it is another channel in which they can connect with you. So that is the first reason to remain and to stay top of mind of your audience. The second reason is that you can bring more value. What we are doing with our newsletters is that we are sending a monthly recap in case you've missed one of our videos or you've missed one of the updates that happened with Canva. We're sending that to you and that is extra value. We drive traffic to our existing content, but for you it is to make sure we are really delivering that promise that we make to you, that we will make you a better Canva designer. So bring more value to your audience is my second reason why you should have a newsletter. The third reason after staying top of mind and bringing a ton of value is that a newsletter will allow you to show your offers. It allows you to warm up your audience before you tell them about your paid offer, the stuff you're selling it can be a course, it can be a membership, it can be a physical product, whatever you're talking about, whatever your offer is, your newsletter is a very good way to lead your audience towards this offer and maybe convince them and gain, earn their trust so that they will purchase your offer. And it is often presented that offer via a newsletter. The fourth and last reason that I have handpicked because there are tons of more reasons, but a newsletter will help you secure your list. You can build a following on YouTube. You can build a following on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. The day these platforms change something or worst case scenario disappear, because something happens, these followers, it's unsure what is going to happen with them. So when you're building an audience on one of these platforms, you are building a house on a rented land. The land doesn't belong to you. You don't control the environment, the ecosystem. So the day something goes south, well, your business and your following might suffer from that. On the other hand, if you're building an email list, if you're gathering your audience's emails and storing this in an email management system, it's pretty much safe. These contacts are yours and the more you grow that list, the better. So that is a better and more secure way to grow your audience so that if everything else disappears, you still have a way to get in touch to communicate with that audience. All right. Now, that being said, let's jump into Canva and see the four ways Canva can help you create faster and better newsletters. The first way Canva can help you with your newsletters is that it actually can connect with MailChimp. So MailChimp is a very popular email management system and that is the one we are using, but Canva has this integration with MailChimp. So it allows you to design in Canva and publish directly to MailChimp Content Studio. The Content Studio in MailChimp is that content library where you have all your assets and you can pull that into to your email. So what I have here is a blank presentation document. It doesn't really matter what type of document you're using. What I want to show you is how to connect your MailChimp with Canva. So for this, let's imagine you have designed something for the sake of having a design here. I'm just going to import this one slide. Now to connect MailChimp with Canva, it's very easy. Just click on the three little dot button right here on the top right corner 
and then you should see a bunch of different options okay maybe you don't see all of them you can just expand this menu but you should find the mailchimp integration so if i click on this and by all means i have already connected my account to mailchimp but if it's the first time you click here this box this dialogue will prompt you to enter your mailchimp details so you need to have an active mailchimp account first and then you will just have to type in your mailchimp username and password canva will be connecting and integrating with mailchimp and then once it's ready you will have this exact same process so from here if i save this design here it will save your design to your files in mailchimp so just by clicking save here it will save to mailchimp so i can actually do this i'm going to save this design it says preparing your design okay my design has been saved so where do i see this well actually i will have to switch over to mailchimp so this is here mailchimp and i am in the content studio you can see where i have different assets that we have been using for our emails so what i will do i will simply hit the refresh button and we should see this design that i just saved from canva to my mailchimp content studio so you can go to my files here and you see the design is here. So this is very useful because now I will be able to just simply design my emails in MailChimp and just fetch the images that I have exported from Canva. All right, so moving on to the second way Canva can help you with your emails and your newsletters. Well, it is the fact that you can create all of your assets directly into Canva and then use that when you create your emails in your email management system. I've just showed you the integration with MailChimp. So that is the one I know, the only one I know. But if you're not using MailChimp, but rather another email management system, you can still do the same. You can still design your assets, download them, and then upload them back up into your other software from which you send your emails. So that's what we are going to cover in this point number two, creating all of your visual assets. And we are going to start with the example of an email header because Canva has a doc type a document category called email header and the dimension is 600 by 200 pixel so i'm going to click on this and see what kinds of templates are there okay so there is a bunch of different templates for you to choose from actually a lot of templates and the cool thing about this is that they are already optimized for your email banners so what i have done here i have selected a blank email header template and I have created because we already had our photography here. We have our branded font, our branded colors and all the goodies that you see here. So I have put this together, but I really started from a blank email header template. So if I click on file, you can see the dimensions are the same 600 pixel by 200 pixel. So now I want to illustrate one more time the fact that I can save that into MailChimp very quickly. And I'm gonna take it one step further and show you how to start your email on the other side on MailChimp so that you really understand what this integration is. And also I will show you how to create other assets. So first, let me click here, go to my MailChimp button, click on the MailChimp icon, save your design and your file to MailChimp, yes. So it's preparing my design, perfect. It's been saved, I'll just continue to edit and I'm heading over to the MailChimp Content Studio. I will refresh and there we go. Here is my email header. I'm gonna delete this one right here, which is has actually nothing to do with my brand. Okay, so now I have this email header. I'm gonna show you very quickly, by all means, this is not a tutorial about MailChimp. I just want to show you how you can use the assets you have designed with Canva. So I'm just going to select this first template here. Okay, so that's how the template looks like, really bare out of the box from MailChimp. So the way I want to customize this, I want to have my email header right here in this section that you see is a little bit grayed out. So first I'm gonna get rid of this text box. I don't need the text box but I want to have my header here. So just clicking on that section of the email and then I will see your default logo. So I'm gonna replace this, clicking on the replace button and selecting my Rondi header that I just created in Canva and insert. And there we go. So now I have created my header 
very simply by importing any assets I created in Canva. And what I want to show you is that you can create not just headers, because yes, Canva has header templates, but it doesn't really matter. For example, if you want to change these two photos right here, MailChimp gives me the information that these photos are actually 264 by 194. That is the dimension, the exact dimension of this photo. So if I go back to Canva, I can create a custom document and just go 264 by 194. And then I can create a document of exactly this dimension and do through the exact same process. So I design in Canva, I save to MailChimp, and then I switch over to my MailChimp when I build my email and just fetch these images from the content studio. So it's a very easy workflow. You spare the hassle of downloading and re-uploading into another software. That was my point number two. Let's move on to the third way Canva can help you create fast and easy emails. And that is that you can create downloadable newsletters. So for that, let's head back to the Canva homepage. I want to show you the keywords you need to search for. And the keyword you need to search for is email newsletter. Email newsletter, there we go. You click on this and you will have a selection of templates here. So the email newsletter is something slightly different. It's not something that you will be sending via email per se, or it's not gonna be an email just like the emails that you can create in MailChimp. It's going to be a one page PDF that you can attach to an email and send to your list. So that is particularly if you don't have an email platform like MailChimp or another one. If you just have your Gmail, for example, but you still have a couple of clients and you want to keep in touch with them, or if you have started to gather emails, but you don't have a large list and you don't want to pay for an email management system like MailChimp because it has a cost, you just want to send an email to a couple of people. So this solution is perfect for you because you will be designing your PDF email in Canva, your newsletter. And then from there, you can just attach this to an email and send to whoever you like. So I have created from one of these templates, I believe I selected, let me see, this one right here. So I use this template. Let me show you the original. So that is the original. I only used one page, but then I turned it into this. So newsletter, June 2021 recap for the Rondi team, eight new videos that were published in June for you to become a better Canva designer. Start learning. So what I want to show you is that I'm going to export this in a PDF format in just a moment. But before that, I want to make this button here clickable, this whole button. Okay, so I will start by grouping it and then I'm going to click on this and I'm going to add a link on this button. And the link is going to be simply a link to our YouTube channel so that people can click on that button, start learning. They will be redirected to our Rondi YouTube channel and they can start watching the new videos. If you had, for example, a playlist with the eight new videos that you published in June, you could also link to that specific playlist. And that's it. I have created a link to this button. If I click on the link button, you will see the link. So that's perfect. So all I have to do now is to download this as a PDF. Let's say PDF standard. And you will see in just a second that the link will be clickable in that PDF. I'm going to show that to you, prove that to you. So there we go. I have my PDF right here. Let me zoom out slightly so we can see the entirety of the document. And I've added also this little hand that shows that there is some clickable element here. So if I click here, I'll be redirected to the YouTube channel. So it works perfectly. So that's it. That was my third tip on how to use Canva to create fast email newsletters. And it is particularly useful if you don't yet have an email management system. I have one more tip for you guys. But before that, if you find this content useful, you can thank us by giving us a like to this video. This will really help us with the YouTube visibility. And also, if you like the idea of learning how to become better with Canva, I invite you to subscribe to the channel because we 
you have two new videos every week for you to grow as a designer. All right, so that being said, let's move on to my fourth and final tip for today on how to use Canva to create newsletters. That is that you can share your newsletters as a website via Canva. A lot of you will already be familiar with this feature of sharing or publishing a design as a website, but this is super convenient if you want to share that as like a, a newsletter, but you don't need an email management system either for this particular option, but still you want to keep in touch with your audience and you want to do it in a quick and easy way. So in order to get started with this, you can start with a presentation template. So just typing presentation or you could go for a mobile first presentation, which is going to present you a bunch of templates that are in the nine by 16 aspect ratio. If you know that most of your viewers are going to open that link from their mobile phone, I would probably recommend you go and you start with this format. But the way to create your newsletter is very straightforward. So just start with a template or start from scratch then you will have to kind of customize it. But when you're done, let's imagine this is a perfectly roundy branded newsletter. So once it's ready, just go to the three little dot button right here and find the sharing option that says website. Click on the website and then don't forget to use the drop down menu here and click on scrolling. Okay, open website. So now Canva has generated a website with your content that you had in your presentation. And uh, it has some large photo in the background. I'm looking at this content here on my desktop. If you looked at it from your mobile, you will see only the content that is here in the center, but it is all optimized for mobile view, of course. So the way to share that is super easy. You just need to grab the URL that you have on your URL bar. You copy the link that you can add in any button in any email. So if you're just using Gmail, for example, create an email and say, hey guys, this is our newsletter for June. And then the word newsletter for June, you can replace that with an hyperlink and you paste that link. And then people will just be able to discover this Canva made newsletter. The beauty of this is that it will take you a couple of minutes if you use a template, maybe a couple of hours if you design everything from scratch, but you can have a really functional and really efficient newsletter in a very short amount of time and for no money at all. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Four ways to use Canva to create newsletters. I will see you in the next video.